Hello from Bulgaria, my beautiful friends. Once again, I am exploring the coast. We got up super early and left super early at around 1 p.m. to cruise around some more on this beautiful, awesome day. Um, look at this, some sort of a fortification. We cruised through Chernomore, which is the brand new neighborhood just south of uh, Sunny Beach. It's really cool there. I'll take a video uh, uh, in the coming in the coming weeks. It's really, really cool there if you've never been. Uh, the sea is absolutely stunning today. It's a little bit misty feeling, but it's warm, kind of warm, and super fun. So we cruised through Ravda. There's really nobody there today. I don't know why. You'd think that people would be having cigarette parties and uh, just kind of roaming around with two liter bottles of Astika and just enjoying this super fun time, a super fun day, but not today. Uh, there's just a little bit of construction going on, but nothing really, nothing happening in Ravda today, in case you are wondering and scratching your head, what is it like in Ravda today? It's uh, not, not very interesting. Uh, we're planning on going up on the tower here, but just can't find absolutely anybody anywhere around, maybe a worker or a strajnik, somebody that we could maybe bribe to uh, take some photos from up there. I mean, could you just imagine? It'd be so awesome. I think it's part of this complex, this massive, massive kind of almost looks rundown complex. I think it was kind of an attraction maybe, or or perhaps it was an actual lighthouse at some point. What do I know? I mean, look at this. Look at this barbed wire they strewn all around this place. I wonder why it's here. Maybe to prevent the cats from jumping up and eating their grass or... I have no idea. It sure is weird. So, I want to show you a cool little beach before we cruise into into ah Ahaloi. I hope I'm saying this right, but look how cool this place looks. There's a little bit of industry. There's some kind of a, maybe a petroleum place. Uh, to the left, there's some cool farmland. But yeah, sorry about the windiness. I know I can, I can just feel this video on YouTube going, but look how cool this is. Look how gorgeous the beach is. Those citizens are enjoying their, their day as everybody else should. These are cliffs. I mean, they're awesome. And they're just, you know, if you're riding a bicycle even, it'll take you a little while to come here from Sunny Beach. But it, this this kind of view and this beach here is actually accessible if you are in the Sabar Sunny Beach, only a few minutes from Ravda, down this cool little gravel path. No problem at all. No problem. Ah, look at this. It's awesome. Okay, I'll continue on a little bit later. Ciao! So this place is called Marina Cape and it's this massive, massive complex. It's super, super run down now. There's the tower again and no, we cannot go inside. Uh, all the decorative garbage. I remember, geez, must have been about five years ago that I came here, but just by bicycle, pedal bike. And this stuff was, it looked exactly like this. I even have pictures. We have the bike super loaded with all this, uh, with clothes and stuff, because we thought it's going to be extra super cold. And um, it's a little bit cold. I don't know. It's a bit cold. It's, it's cold. We're going to cruise to Achaloi. How do you pronounce it? Achaloi. So uh, we cruised through the, the city of the town of Achaloi. It was nothing uh, super interesting, but we wanted to take the new highway. This is the brand new road from uh, Aheloi into the highway, to the main, main, main highway, then to the other, I guess the other highway, all the way to Kableskovo. So just about a kilometer away from Aheloi. Oh, hello, and I wanted to show you guys this cool little house. Dusty, how are you? Hi. And I want to show you this tiny little house these guys are hanging out in. Um, but yeah, when you, you can cruise down, it's brand new, it's like glass smooth highway. 
past this uh, cemetery and it'll connect you to the other super nice uh, highway. You can go to Kablaskovo or, or go continuing going south all the way to Burgas. And it's, uh, it's just um, a short little trip. So uh, yeah, the other reason uh, for this part of the video, I just felt a little bit sad. I just uh, pulled over. Yeah, of course we want to see the cemetery, but I'm seeing like these young little girls, you know, they're f seven, eight years old. Uh, with uh, big plastic jugs uh, of water going into the the water, I guess a well or whatever it is. Just like, why is this a thing here? Like, we're supposed to be kind of a modern country here and seeing these little kids, you know, just going to get water because they have no water in their home and they're, you know, traveling, I think just like way down there. you get some water hi guys hi hi nice to see you yeah so i felt a little bit sad uh for for these uh for these folks here the fact that they don't have running waters they have to go go to the to a well or something and everybody's so friendly and so nice so i feel a bit sad i feel a little bit sad for them but it was just like a little cemetery video never been here before so yeah, I guess the video started with me showing you guys that there's so much highway improvements in this area. It's it's crazy. And what a great job the government and, and all the people that had built this and, and all the engineering involved in the highway between Burgas and Sunny Beach easily uh, chops off 15 minutes probably off your uh, uh, trek uh, from the airport from Burgas. And it's so nice. You just, it's just so nice. I mean, it's no different than anywhere in the West. Super smooth, super safe. Um, and you know, you can bypass Aholoi now. I'm sure you guys know that before this was like a huge, um, what's it called? A funnel or a just everything just so slowed down, especially in the summertime where, where all the revelers would, would come, uh, from the airport or from like from Burgess just for the weekend, the locals. And it just slow things down to a halt. Sometimes, I mean, I remember driving back from Burgess, taking two hours uh, because you're just stuck in traffic and it's 35 degrees and oh, it just sucks. Now you are just cruising like a fucking gentleman down this beautiful new road. Um, and also the, the connecting roads, just, just awesome. Just awesome. So much improvement and uh, just in such a short a short period of time so it's um, very awesome I'm very happy and obviously very proud of all the stuff that's happened here I mean proud I didn't have anything to do with it but <laughs> but yeah look how cute these kids are they're so awesome I wish them an amazing life and uh, awesome future but who the hell knows right okay we'll continue on Bye! <laughs> Back in Sunny Beach. Well, kind of Nasebar, between Nasebar and Sunny Beach. Many people don't know that, you know, these neighborhoods here have these cool little parks. There are dozens of them. And in many cases, they're actually pretty well kept. You know, I mean, this is a really cool park. And I think that we're going to have some roses here. And it's spring and it's beautiful. And as soon as we get a little bit of hot, hotter, just slightly hotter uh, weather, this is gonna look really nice. So where am I? Just uh, on the main road when you're coming into uh, Nasebar, when you're coming into Sunny Beach, this whole uh, thoroughway has been also completely revamped. New sidewalks. The, the whole road, there are two uh, monkey things, whatever you call them, spin arounds. The traffic is fl you know flowing by here, no problem. This used to be just an awful, awful, awful street. It's super modernized a few years ago and they did a great job. And there is, yeah, like I said, a sidewalk and you have these kind of servers, service lanes where you can walk if you have um, the little uh, people. 
uh, and you have strollers and stuff like that. So you can easily cruise all the way over to the main highway if you want to go to Janet. Super accessible by bike. It's awesome. And you got this, uh, yeah, in this little park. So I'm going to show you another thing. We just came back from Janet. And it's funny, but the quality of sushi at Janet, because it's really the only place where you can get it right now, has really actually increased. They're just giving you nicer portions. It tastes better. feels a little bit fresher. Maybe because the turnover is a bit greater because there's more people here. But I love... I'm not going to say I love it. It's not really good sushi. But if you have absolutely no choice, it's perfect. It's not very expensive. And this is what it looks like. So this is my my dining table right now. And, and I mean, I've had sushi in Japan. But, but I got to tell you, having sushi right here in this beautiful park underneath an old Soviet MiG-21 is probably the coolest place you can have sushi, right? I mean, come on, you can't beat that. I got some veggie ones and some, um, uh, some salmon. I do think the salmon is way better than the tuna. It's quite the opposite in Canada. You know, I grew up in Vancouver, so sushi on every corner, just that's all I ate really for decades. And I always just prefer tuna, like yellowtail tuna, or just even the cheap tuna. But here in Bulgaria, the salmon is is really good. I, 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 we always get the salmon more than the tuna. So here's a little pro tip. Uh, that it just tastes better in my opinion, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, we just kind of got mostly veggie. So here you go. As soon as you uh, walk it, walk, run, bike into Sunny Beach, uh, if you come from the airport, just down the main road here, you'll be greeted by. You will be greeted by this huge piece of art. I mean, old Russian fighter aircraft, fighters and bombers. I mean, come on, they're fucking cool. They're all really cool. There's so much uh, YouTube content. If you're into this kind of stuff, there's a lot of cool um, history related uh, videos and documentaries about, um, you know, Mikhail Gurnevich and um, all the newer planes. And of course, all the old stuff. If you're into Russian airliners, as you should be, there's a lot of cool information about these things. They are, I just, I just find it absolutely stunning and the technology um, just, yeah, it's just awesome. So I'm happy that this uh, thing is, uh, is actually here. I mean, you know, we read the plaque. Um, this is here to commemorate the Bulgarian um, Air Force, the, the, the pilots and everybody involved here uh, back in the days. Bulgaria's Air Force has thinned down considerably. We do have... I think some MiG-29s right now uh, with broken engines that are being fixed. Not by the Russians, actually. The, the Poles are, have taken over the rejuvenation of the engines. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. I, I don't think these uh, types of fighters, especially the super old ones, even the MiG-29, which you think is recent. What is it, from the 60s or 70s? Well, not the 60s, 70s or whatever. Do we need this, this junk now? I think they should just make more of these cool statues and uh, and uh, and that's it. There's no reason to be spending tens of millions of dollars to revamp engines of essentially legacy vintage old rusty airplanes that Bulgarians still use. Uh, buy little trainers and uh, that's all you need for now, forever hopefully. That's all. It's beautiful today. Thank you for watching my videos. Bye. If there's anything that you want me to film in this uh, area or even just slightly away from this area, let me know. And uh, I'll leave you with a video, photo, whatever, of that really strange building that I know nothing about, but freaks me out a little bit. It's cool. I don't know anything about it. I need to do some research. Um, bye for now.